Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to solve the scaling problem of some software which is not compatible with high-resolution screens. So if you bought a new laptop or a monitor with 4K or high-resolution screen and the interface of some programs is very small and distorted, then this video is for you. Unfortunately, there's no perfect solution to that problem. You can only hope that one day there will be a new software update that will fix the problem. I know some people trying to reduce their screen resolution to make it more or less workable, but the problem is it affects the whole Windows interface, including the software which works perfectly well with high-res screens. So from my perspective, the best solution is to try to create the manifest, which will tell your Windows that there are some problematic apps that need to be run with different scaling values. If that problematic software is installed on your computer, then you create the manifest on that computer. And if you run that software on a remote server, then you create the manifest on that server using the remote desktop connection. So let's get started. First we need to run the Windows Register Editor. Press and hold the Windows key and then press the R key. In a peer dialog box type R E G Edit and hit Enter. Now simply navigate to this registry path. Right click on the side by side folder and select new dword 32 bit value. Next rename this value to prefer external manifest without spaces. Then double click on the new value and set its value to 1. Click OK and close the editor. So next you need to download pre-configured manifest file, the link in the description. It's a simple txt file which contains configuration settings. If you want to know more about this code and how it works, you can go to the Microsoft's webpage that describes all the elements of this code, the link down below. Ok, open your downloads folder with the manifest file. Then you need to go to the folder with the executable file that runs the software that you want to be fixed. I'm gonna use Camtasia Studio as an example. All you need to do is write click on the shortcut properties and here's the path to the folder with the executable file and here's the name of that file in my case it's camtasia studio.exe simply highlight the file name without the extension like so copy the name then right click the manifest file select rename and paste it before exe extension like so Finally, we need to move this manifest file to the folder with the installed software, which contains the executable file with the name that you just added to the manifest name. So simply navigate to the path that you see in your starting line. Or you can just copy it without quotes and paste it into the address bar of the file explorer and press enter. I'm just gonna move the manifest file into this folder and that's it. You can go ahead and try to run your program. I have some old software which works pretty well with the external manifest. It's not super sharp, but pretty much usable. And in case if you want to locally scale the whole remote desktop with its interface and all programs, then you need to add MSTSC to the manifest name. MSTSC is the file name of an executable file that runs the remote desktop client. And that file is located on your C drive, Windows, System32. Here it is. So simply move the manifest file into this folder. And here's the result. And last but not least, if you want to disable the external manifest, then simply go to the registry editor and remove this value. Or double click it and set its value to zero. Restart your computer to apply these changes. And now everything is back to normal. So I hope this was helpful and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.